Well, for those of you who do watch these videos for for the hike, you know, the parking area is up here, and we came down and we made a left, and there uh, wasn't much to it back there. Now, one of these days, I may come back and go up that horse trail a ways and see if it, you know, it's not so horsey, because hiking in that deep sand is, uh, is kind of tough. But, uh, so we're going to make the right right here, and uh, so I just made my uh, computer uh, hel helicopter money video uh, about uh, you know computers and resilience and uh, so we're just going to move on to just basically a, a resilience video at this point um, just to talk about the things that I'm doing to prepare for the coming uh, financial crisis and uh, what I think may be hyperinflation um, it's going to be some tough times ahead and uh, so let's just let's just get on that so the uh, the other thing you know as, as I said in the last video was I bought a, a new laptop um, uh, and like I said, I've got a really good one. Make sure you get get one with good resolution, get the bigger screen, uh, especially if you're old. And uh, you know, why a laptop? Why not a server? Because you know, for the same amount of money, you can always put in a uh, build a computer from scratch or just buy you know buy one off the shelf. That's a, you know I call them servers, um, but they're not portable. You know, they're just going to sit in your office. And uh, let's face it, I mean, 99% of my computing is in my office, except when I have to travel. Uh, you know, because my mom, she gets sick up in Lynchburg and my scumbag relatives won't do anything for her. So I have to go up and try to help out when I can, you know. It's a long drive to get to Virginia. She's in Virginia. I tried to get her to move down here to Florida and I had a real nice setup for her, but uh, she wants to stay in her house and die in her house. So, you know, you got to respect, respect somebody's wishes. I know I'd want mine respected. But anyway, getting back to the uh, resilience thing. Okay, so, you know, I, you probably know the moves I've made. I, I bought a new office chair because my old one broke. Uh, and plus, it, it's a lot better. I mean, you know, that's, uh, that's something you do want to spend money on, um, especially if you work from home. You know, all you people moving home, you know, go to Office Depot and spend the $350 for the chair. I know that's a lot. But you get that uh, that really nice padding with the with the high back on it, so it gives you neck support. Because what I would find in my old chair, I didn't have the high back, is my neck would start cramping after I sit in front of that computer for more than a couple hours, you know. So that's you know that was a big big purchase. Uh, before you know prices go up, if you do hit hyperinflation, you're not going to get that chair unless you can barter for it, and that's going to be tough. So uh, you know that's that's one one. Sounds kind of silly. That APC power supply. We talked about that. The uh, the new laptop. Why I, why I did that. Uh, so we're just kind of see how I'm peck pecking around. You know, looking at things. You know, new, two new ladders. Because uh, I got I had a rickety old uh, step ladder. And got rid of that. But, you know, bought bought a really nice one from uh, Home Depot. And uh, so uh, you know, uh, I, I've run the sprinklers now. I got the sprinkler for my garden. It actually worked. So now I can just run it on zone one. Uh, I have six zones and uh, that'll sprinkle in my garden even though a lot of the water doesn't go on the garden. Um, so, but I still take the hose back there. Uh, vegetables, that was another thing you wanted to plant. I've planted a vegetable garden, you want to plant one. It took me six months. I ain't gonna lie, getting that rock out and, and putting in new dirt and everything. It was a big, 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 big project. But uh, you know, but now I got, you should see them tomato plants. Now I'm hoping now, have I gotten one thing to eat out of it? No, not yet. But those tomato plants are growing like crazy. You know, I have, I'm glad I bought those racks for the tomatoes because uh, they were growing so fast. You know, if you if you wait too long to, to rack them, you know, it's, it, you'll break the limbs off of the tomato plant trying to get the rack around it, you know? So you gotta, you gotta rack them early on. So uh, I was just gonna hike up to the road if you, for hikers, okay? If you go this way, it takes you down to the uh, rehab place and then that brings you right up by the river and there's actually a trail down there I have not done yet uh, and I've been this way and that just kind of goes out into the forest over here and uh, so I but I haven't been this way so let's just go this way for a little different hike even though it's uh, I tell you what it's hot and muggy if I got out on that road next to the river I bet things would be a lot cooler because of all the rain we've had you know that that heat, that just that moisture is just coming right up and baking me here. But that's all right. Let's let's see something new. Uh, so uh, you know, the uh, the other thing is um, right now, you know, 
they beat down silver again, which is good. Uh, and and gold's you know it's it's sitting around sixteen seventeen hundred. Uh, that's a lot for an ounce of gold, <laughs> but but I mean still I think that the upside potential. And this is not investment, people. This is not an investment. This is uh, just you know, a place to store your wealth until the crisis is over. Okay, because if we do hit hyperinflation, you got to have something that's going to hold its value. And uh, right now, you know, real estate, of course, is an asset, uh, you know, but uh, everything's sky high. Those interest rates have been low so long that, uh, you know, I'm, I've seen the, the price of houses, you know, mine just has just about doubled. Now, as soon as that bubble burst, you know, my house, my house will be back down probably where I bought it, you know, so I haven't made anything. You don't make anything till you sell it. You know, so plus you you're not making anything anyway because you got inflation. Okay, so so what if your house is worth you but pay 175 and it's worth 200? You know, if the if, if you've got five percent inflation each year, you know, what's that four years or whatever? You know, you already <laughs> you, you didn't make a dime when you sold it for twenty thousand because yeah, that's the that's the nature. It's a it's called a reverse tax. Okay, a lot of people don't understand inflation is tax. You're being taxed into oblivion by your government. And uh, now, you know, the Dems, are, they spent $1.9 trillion bailing, bailing out all the Democrat states. Now they're going to spend another $3 trillion on who knows what. Uh, you know, we gave a billion to the, the World Health Organization like that. And that makes sense when people here are in the streets homeless here in the United States. But, you know, you, you, can't, uh, you can't deal with the liberal mind. It just doesn't make any sense, you know. And, uh, but, uh, you know, and, and here's, an, here's another example, okay. My uh, my sister-in-law, she's got uh, I don't know I, I think she's a multi multi millionaire, and uh, I think it was a while back she wanted me to come over and look at her computer, and uh, you know because you know I I help out whenever I can anybody, so uh, you know when I found out it's an old XP <laughs> computer you know and I said no, I'm I said I can't help you Don I said the only thing you can do I shouldn't say your name. I said, the only thing you can do is buy a new computer, okay? I, I said, it's not even worth my, me wasting my time on this thing. I said, this operating system has been discontinued, so I can't even apply updates. I said, it's, you know, I said, uh, and, you know, do you think, I mean, with all that money, has she gone out and bought a new computer? Not that I know of. Uh, so, you know, and, and they got, you know, if she didn't have money, okay, I would say, that, well, that makes sense, you know, I mean, Sometimes you got to stick with old stuff. Old is not necessarily bad, but if you got the money, don't. Why do you want to sit there and wait 20 minutes for the thing to boot up? It's probably riddled with all kinds of malware and, and viruses and everything else. Because XP is one of the most vulnerable operating systems on the planet. You know, <clears throat> well, yeah, so your time, okay? If this is back to resilience. Your time is very valuable, okay? My my even my old laptop, man, my new laptop. You know, when you hit that power button, how long do you think it takes before I'm typing away? No more than 30 seconds, probably less than that. You know, so the the new hardware is just is just astounding. So, uh, so that's you know that's just just getting back to resilience. Now, what are the, some of the future things that I'd like to do? But you know, I'm not going to have the money for quite some time. You know, impact resistant windows. Okay, my house sits at the end of the street. And uh, so when that wind blows down that street, you know, if you're in a hurricane and you got 100, 100, you know, 110 mile an hour winds, you know, a trash can flying down that street would smash into my house, full, full, full frontal right there. I mean, and think of the speed something that big could pick up before it got to my house. So I want to put in impact resistant windows, but I looked into them and they're pretty doggone expensive. So I, I've got to think about that, you know, Plus, my wife, she doesn't see the need for it because, once again, she's a the liberal mind. I don't see why we need that. Well, you don't need it until you need it, you know. That's uh, it's just called being uh, proactive and not reactive. Now, I did check in to the insurance, and the insurance will cover uh, damage, which it doesn't make sense. You know, you think, and I don't think there's much of a discount for putting in the impact-resistant windows. So you would think the insurance companies would be like, okay, yeah, we'll give you a a credit for putting in uh, impact resistant windows. So it's just uh, the whole world has gone crazy and it doesn't make sense to me. Um, so that's that's a big project that 
that I want to get done. Um, of course, I, I want to upgrade the cars. But here, once again, you know, what are you going to do? You know, we got, we got Biden, and he wants to eliminate fossil fuels. So I'm expecting to see $5 a gallon. So, you know, what did I do? I went out and bought that um, Honda ADV150 that gets 100 miles to the gallon. So I'm prepared for $5 a gallon. When I, when I can ride my motorcycle. I can't ride it in the rain. Can't ride it when it's really cold here. And even, I think, once it gets really hot, you're not going to be able to ride it. Because I've, I've been told that, man, your shoes will just melt on that asphalt <laughs> because it's so hot, you know. So, there's, I mean, I'm limited in what I can do. But, so what kind of car do you want to get? Well, I don't want to get one of them little teeny smart cars. I, what I really wanted to get was the uh, Subaru. And it gets pretty darn good. It's got 30, 33 miles to the gallon, somewhere around in there. But at $5 a gallon... You know, what's the utility? I mean, the reason that I want the uh, the Forester, the Outback, is so that I can go camping. But imagine, you know, you drive for three hours to go camping at $5 a gallon. You know, you're out a lot of money at $30 miles to the gallon. So then, you know, what am I looking at? Well, that Toyota Hybrid uh, SUV. And uh, that's going to get about 44 miles to the gallon. Uh, damn nice vehicle, but expensive as hell. I mean, you're getting up, especially with inflation. I bet you're going to be, you're, you're looking at probably 40000 out of pocket for a new one. Now, you say, well, Kirk, let's wait a year and you can pick it up used. Yeah, you could, I guess. So, I don't know. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird battle, you know, but those are the things I'm thinking about. And these are the things that you need to think about, you know. Um, I mean, if, if, if you just need a car, uh, you know, I still love the Prius. You know, I know. This is coming from a conservative, you know, uh, but uh, I, I just think it's a, it's a well-built car. It's an established technology. They've been making those Priuses for quite some time now. You know, that's another thing. You, you never want to be on that bleeding edge and that new Toyota. Uh, I can't remember the name of Ventra, I think, something like that. That's a, this is a first-year car, so I never like to go where no man has gone before <laughs> when, it, when it comes to, uh, to vehicles, you know, I mean, I, I want them to be established, uh, you know, with, you know, and that, that's the, uh, the Forester and the uh, Outback, you know, they've been around forever, and all they do is they make uh, simple upgrades, and uh, each upgrade just just an improvement most of the time, and uh, so, that, you know, they're just improving on an old technology, you know, nothing, nothing drastically new, so, uh, so anyway, yeah, the Prius, I mean, gosh, if you could just get in that but that's, a, that's just a car right you can't take that on the on a dirt road and go camping how much camping gear are you going to carry in a prius you know even the hatchback which is pretty good you know i guess you could just go to a regular campground with it i want to get off grid man you can see i i don't like being around people especially when i go camping you know i don't need a bunch of kids running around screaming keeping me awake and you know okay i, I mean that's nothing wrong with kids i'm not saying but that's not why I go camping. I go camping to get away from everybody, get away from things. You know, kind of like these hikes. I mean, look at me. Let's let's just let's pause for a second. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. You know, so that, that's why I'm out here. It's, uh, it's, well, I mean, it's, it's a hot, muggy day, but uh, now I'm, you know, I'm exploring. Well, we have been here before, actually. This is, uh, this is, if you take that right fort back there, that's a trail right over here. That's what I thought. And the last time I did this, this fork of the trail, I was going to come up this way just for something different. But by that time, I was really tired, and I wasn't sure I wanted to take the risk of this trail not going back to the uh, parking area so I hiked back on on this trail over here okay so um, all right well I guess that's uh, probably pretty good for the resilience video you know I mean there's there's so many more things that uh, that I I just keep thinking of I mean you know those impact windows uh, you know what else could I do to fortify the house um, you know I've, I've got of course I got a solar uh, generator now you know and, and why solar Okay, what happens if it's cloudy? Then, then you're not going to, you know, you're not going to be able to recharge those batteries. And of course, I did buy an extra battery for it, so that I've got twice the runtime on it. Um, so yeah, if it's cloudy, I'm screwed. 
But think about it, if, if you got a gas generator and uh, you know it's a major catastrophe and you can't buy gas, well, yeah, you, you, can, you might get two, three days out of it, which is what happened back in, uh, if you don't remember, if you remember the great power outage of, I think it was like 2003 or something like that. Uh, man, I love that power outage. I got a lot done. I was working in my basement and it was nice and cool down there. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, everybody, you heard those generators one by one. <laughs> you know, because they all ran out of fuel. Even our, even our data center ran out of fuel. That was a story in and of itself. We told that idiot in charge that we needed to power down the data center and uh, he didn't do it. And uh, that whole data center went down hard, and you don't want to do that. Man, that was a disaster getting everything back back running, and, you know, I think some of the equipment might have been damaged just because that idiot uh, supervisor wouldn't let us uh, power down the equipment. So since we've been this way before, I'm going to go ahead and hike back this way. Uh, well, it is a, it's a prettier hike this way. It goes, it goes through the trees. I, 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 I like it. Um, so this is, you know, so you could just do this little loop here if you wanted, just a, a brief little hike. But the, look, like I said, good luck finding this place because <laughs> I'm way the hell off the grid. All right, so um, I guess that's uh, it for the resilience video. We've kind of beat the, the dead horse here. Um, and why, you know, why am I doing it all? Because I believe we're heading for a financial catastrophe as a country. No way we print this much money. No way we... Uh, we, we don't even have the taxes. You can't tax your way out of this one. You know, they, they can't collect enough money in taxes to cover the, the interest on the debt, just about, you know. So it's uh, it's all going to come, come. They're going to try to inflate their way out of it. That's the only choice I see that, that is going to make any kind of sense, which means everything's going to get massively expensive. And that's why, you know, I'm saying stock up on everything. You know, I'm sorry, toilet paper, yeah. Toilet paper, canned goods, uh, you know, maybe buy one of those uh, survival food kits. Uh, you know, they call them prep prep kits that that'll last you a couple months, uh, and that food keeps for you know a number of years. Um, so you can buy some of that. Plant a garden. Um, you know, just just prepare, folks. Prepare any way you can. Uh, oh yeah, and I said I was talking about silver, and uh, silver's been beat down. It's uh, it's it's selling for about five dollars over uh, over spot. Okay, because the premiums are getting high. It's gonna it, we're going to call it, we call it unattainium, unattainium, okay? That means you're not going to be able to buy it much longer. People are going to realize that the dollar is not, the dollar is trash, okay? It's not money, it's trash, it's a debt note. And uh, so people are going to be looking for a place to go, and uh, real estate's too expensive. So right now, silver is still, uh, it's expensive. I mean, if you, if you wanted to get in when it was 14, 16, 19, somewhere around in there, but... If you don't have any, uh, right now, you know, at the 30, I think I'm paying about $31 at SD Bullion for uh, Austrian Phil Philharmonics, uh, one ounce silver coins. Uh, and I haven't bought any for a while because I don't have the money. You know, I just bought that new computer. So uh, these things, you, you got to get it done, people. Get ready. You know, don't bury your head in the sand. Uh, you know, don't. Don't be a liberal and have an XP computer and <laughs> it's, it's a piece of garbage that you gotta, it takes up all your time just booting the thing up. All right, man. Peace out.